Welcome back. Our guest today is an outspoken activist, philanthropist, and immortal nocturnal predator who's here to discuss what he calls Hollywood's misleading portrayal of his people and culture. He's also the author of the new book, Stake Me, I'm Done, Vampires <laughs> Misrepresentation in Contemporary Culture, which frankly has Hollywood reaching for their garlic and crosses. Count Dracula, thank you for being here. It is a pleasure to be here, Daniel. You say that Hollywood has been shamefully exploiting young people, for, or your people for years, and I'm quoting here, uh, the smut machine that is Hollywood has turned my noble legacy into glorified pornography, all in the name of profit. Strong words, Dracula, would you care to elaborate? Of course. Over the past several years, big shot Hollywood types have been raking in the dough with their inaccurate and lewd portrayal of so-called vampires. And I am here tonight to say that enough is enough. Well, uh, Dracula, it sounds like you were uh, pretty cross. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I am. Uh. I will no longer sit in silence as my fellow creatures of the night are disgraced by images of plastic breasts and collagen lips and men with ragamuffin haircuts. <laughs> and all the sex, blah. Every time I turn on the TV, a couple of long-fanged hipsters are humping away as if the sun will never rise. Oh, no. Dracula, you take particular issue with the very popular film and book series, uh, Twilight. Uh, if I can uh, use a quote from you, you said that you've had fleas with more bite. Yes. That's a direct quote from you. Was yes. it the characters or the story itself that bothers you? You call that a story? Some sparkly, spoiled, rich boy falls in love with a pale human skeleton that prances around the woods and I'm supposed to care? Well. <laughs> and oh, boo-hoo, we vampires have been persecuted for centuries. Whatever will we do? Oh, I know. I've got an idea. Let's move to the state of Washington. <laughs> what kind of creature decides to move to Washington? There are no castles, no villagers with pitchforks. Do you know what's in Washington? What? Trees and meth heads. That's what's in Washington. <laughs> well, uh, Dracula, you also disagree with Twilight's depiction of werewolves, correct? You call it wildly inaccurate. Some of my best friends are werewolves. My neighbor is a werewolf. He has a spare key to my dungeon. But just last week, I attended his youngest pup's bark mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the series has quite the following. Are you saying that the fans of Twilight, including many people in our audience, have bad taste? No, it's not the fans who have bad taste. It's the hacks in Hollywood who have bad taste. They're spoon feeding this garbage to us and we're just supposed to swallow it. Well, no more, my friends. You know what real taste in style is? This is style. I'm wearing five layers of woolen clothes right now. <laughs> clothes tailored for the prince. The prince of darkness. <laughs> of course, yes, all right. Well, let's talk about the, the TV series. Uh, you got True Blood and you got Vampire Diaries. What are your thoughts on those? True Blood, more like True Blue. And Vampire Diaries, more like Vampire Diarrhea. <laughs> and who has that much sex? Who has the time, the energy? Whatever happened to courting a lady anyway? Whatever happened to lurking in the shadows as they walk home? Hmm? <laughs> Whatever happened to flying into their open bedroom window? and hovering just above their sleeping bodies, right? Whatever happened to inviting them over to dinner and welcoming them into your home with a kiss on the hand and an enchanting good evening. Wow. You like that, huh? You want me to give you one? It's, no, it's impressive, <laughs> but no. Wait, look at me. Good evening. One chapter in your book, Dracula, that really caught my attention was the one about uh, vampire on vampire violence. I'm glad you brought that up, Daniel. This really seems to strike a chord with you, I thought. Well, for too many years, my brothers and sisters have been portrayed as these sword-wielding, super-speed, bad-tempered ninja monsters. Where, who started this rumor? Where did this come from? Hmm? I can change into a bat. Is that not good enough for you? Can Wesley Snipes change into a bat? No, he cannot. No, that is right, no. he cannot. No. <laughs> well, you do feed on the blood of the living, correct? This is true, I'm not denying that, yes. Okay. But I don't go around smashing through walls and throwing people across the room. Think of the property damage, mm. the lawsuits, <laughs> the handwritten apology note, blah. <laughs> sure, I have heroic strength, but I prefer to fight my battles with the power of my words and Mine eyes. Okay, so um, 
Come on, Count. Did you forget that there was a time when you were known as Vlad the Impaler? A time when you slaughtered entire armies single-handedly? I'm sorry. I thought I was talking to someone who cared about veterans. Maybe I should go down to the VA and tell my story there. Is that it, Daniel? Why? Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean <laughs> No, that. no. Let me go put on my leather pants and my sunglasses and slow fight to Matrix music, huh? Should I do that? <laughs> uh, look, I'm sorry if I offended. Do you know I... who got it right? Bela Lugosi. Gary Oldman, the guy who played Nosferatu, and Blackula. Blackula got it right. Yeah, he was very good. <laughs> Look, I can certainly see your point, and I really didn't mean to. Hey, to... one question for you. Uh, what? What blood type are you? <laughs> uh... I'm just messing with you. Uh, 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 uh. You're asking the tough questions. I get it. <laughs> Look, um, his new book is Stake Me, I'm Done, Vampires, Misrepresentation in Contemporary Culture. It's available on Amazon. He'll be doing a book signing at uh, Books A Million this Friday. Count Dracula, thank you so much for your time. It was my pleasure. We'll be right back with comedian Crazy Jake right after this. Don't go away. <laughs>